Welcome to Brief Bits of Philosophy. I'm your host and teacher, Andrew Chapman. I'm an academic philosopher and I teach college level philosophy classes to university students. This video is on the topic of epistemology, and in it, we will be discussing the branch of philosophy that deals with knowledge, justification, and belief. Brief Bits of Philosophy is a series of videos written and produced by me and intended to provide you with a very quick overview of issues and topics studied by academic philosophers. Since each video is, by design, quite short, the issues covered are not discussed in depth. If you're interested in learning more about any of the topics covered, check out the longer philosophy videos on my channel, which go into great detail on the topics covered in this video. Epistemology is a branch of philosophy that deals with the nature, scope, and limits of knowledge and justification. It's concerned with questions such as what knowledge and justification are, how we acquire them, and how they function in our lives. Philosophers Matthias Stoip and Ram Neda write that the term epistemology comes from the Greek words episteme and logos. Episteme can be translated as knowledge or understanding or acquaintance, while logos can be translated as account or argument or reason. Just as each of these different translations captures some facet of the meaning of these Greek terms, so too does each translation capture a different facet of epistemology itself. Although the term epistemology is no more than a couple of centuries old, the field of epistemology is at least as old as any in philosophy. Knowledge is the main object of analysis of epistemology. Understanding what knowledge is, how we acquire knowledge, and what it's possible for us to have knowledge of have been the central topics of epistemology for over 3,000 years. Epistemologists generally hold that when we legitimately know something, instead of merely thinking or saying that we know it, we have achieved something of supreme epistemic importance. Ancient Greek philosopher Plato discussed knowledge in his dialogue The Theotetus from about 369 BCE, and defined knowledge as what philosophers call JTB. For something to be knowledge, it must be a justified, true belief. Justified meaning evidence, or what Plato calls an account, must be present. True meaning it is objectively getting reality right. And belief meaning that it is the subjective taking on somebody's part of reality to be this particular way. Epistemologist Edmund Gettier showed in his 1963 paper, Is Justified True Belief Knowledge?, that examples can be given in which someone has a justified true belief, but in which that person nonetheless fails to have knowledge. Thus, because of what Gettier showed, most epistemologists have concluded that knowledge needs more than merely justified true belief. A brief example to expand on what Gettier showed in his 1963 paper is in order. I created this example. Once you see how such examples function, you can create infinitely many more of what are known as Gettier cases, which are instances, usually hypothetical, in which somebody has a justified true belief that nonetheless fails to be knowledge. Here's the example. Suppose that I have very convincingly lied to you and gotten you to believe that I will be in New York City this coming weekend. I've presented you with copious evidence that I will be in New York this coming weekend, including screenshots of plane tickets and receipts for a rental car and a hotel room. Plus, you have no reason to think I'd lie to you. However, my actual plan is to be in Bangor, Maine, rather than New York City this weekend. It just so happens that, unbeknownst to you, en route to Bangor, my plane suffers mechanical difficulties that force an emergency landing at LaGuardia, and I cannot get a flight out of New York until the end of the weekend. On Saturday, you think about where I am and conclude that, based on all the evidence I showed you and the lack of evidence to the contrary, I am in New York City. Thus, you believe that I am in New York City. You are justified by all the evidence you have in believing that I am in New York City and 
purely by luck, I actually am in New York City, so your belief is true. You have JTB that I am in New York City, a justified, true belief. But it seems as though, since it is a mere accident that I ended up in New York City rather than in Bangor, your justified, true belief that I am in New York City falls short of you knowing that I am in New York City. JTB, justified true belief, it seems, while necessary for knowledge, is not sufficient for knowledge. This is what one of the theoretical parts of epistemology looks like in practice. One of the central topics in epistemology is the problem of skepticism. Skepticism is the view that knowledge or justification of some or all things is impossible, and that we thereby lack knowledge of or justification for believing those things. Epistemologists have traditionally been concerned with the possibility that our apparent knowledge of the world is illusory, or that our beliefs about the world are unjustified. A second central topic in epistemology is the problem of perception. Perception is the process by which we acquire information about the world through our senses. Epistemologists have traditionally been concerned with the possibility that our perceptions are not a reliable source of knowledge, or that our beliefs about the world are influenced by our own biases or prejudices. A final central topic in epistemology is the nature of justification. Justification refers to evidence or reasons for beliefs, and to the process of providing reasons or evidence for our beliefs. Epistemologists have traditionally been concerned with the possibility that our beliefs are not well supported by reasons or evidence. Epistemology is an important branch of philosophy because it deals with some of the most fundamental questions about knowledge and belief. Epistemology has practical applications in fields such as education, science, religion, law, and politics. Epistemology teaches us to question how we come to believe what we believe, what common sources of error stand in the way of our acquiring knowledge, and how to do better at forming justified and true beliefs. In conclusion, epistemology is a branch of philosophy that deals with the nature, scope, and limits of knowledge and justification. It's concerned with questions such as what knowledge is, how we acquire it, and how we can justify our beliefs. It helps us to understand the world around us as well as our place in it. Thank you for watching this brief bits of philosophy video on the topic of epistemology. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and also to check out the other videos in my Brief Bits of Philosophy series.